Welcome to the School of Marvelous Light, Little Flop. So if you've been paying attention, then you've been witnessing this war that has been taking place. And remember, this is a spiritual war that's taking place. So notice that I say it's happening and it's happening right before your eyes, yet it is invisible because it's spiritual. Now, what are you talking about, grandson? Remember how I just told you guys, <clears throat> their war, but our peace. Okay? Now, in order to understand how to fight this war and how to conquer and obtain victory in this war, all you got to do is look to the past. For Solomon said, there is nothing new under the sun. It's already been done before. So look back and then you will see it. Well, what do you mean? The children of Israel were brought out of Egypt. They were brought to their promised land. Now that promised land was already inhabited by some people. And so a war had to ensue. But remember Abba said, stand still and watch the salvation of Abba Yah work. Watch the salvation of Abba Yah. Stand still, for you shall not need to fight in this battle. But watch the salvation. Now, what is Hoshua? What does that name mean? Yah is salvation. Joshua is the man that Abba Yah said that to. <laughs> Joshua is Hoshua, which means Yah is salvation. See? Now, when he came into that promised land, he had to fight against these Canaanites. Now, that's what's happening right now on the earth. Now, we want to break that down. This war is about I am. Can y'all hear this? And if you do, you will greatly benefit from it because you'll have great understanding as to what you will see on a daily basis from here on out. From here on out. This is all you're going to see from now on. From here on out. Because it's part of the apocalypse. It is part of the revealing of what is going on in truth underneath this world of lies. The lies have to be exposed eventually and the truth will come to the light it is written. So now the truth is coming to the light because it's coming out of its captivity. The truth has been in captivity. Now, Abraham was made a promise to that his children would inherit a land. That same land that I'm describing to you that Moses, see, the children of Israel came into after serving bondage. You see? So they will serve in a land that is not their own right here in America. Were some slaves brought here and served bondage here 400 years? Yes, they have. So the, the words of Abba were standing, they are standing true right now. That he gave to Abraham. See, so if you want to know who Abraham's seed is on the earth. It is those people who were he uh, held captive in a land that was not their own. For 400 years and they will serve bondage there. Now, did that happen right here in America? Now, did that happen right here in America to the so-called Jewish people of the earth? Were they held captive here in America for 400 years and served bondage here? Well, wasn't that what was told to Abraham about his descendants? In a deep sleep, the scripture says, a deep sleep came upon him and he had a vision and he saw his descendants 400 years. It's 400 years ringing the bell. Now, who just got out of bondage after 400 years of servitude? Who is that? Would it happen to be the so-called African-Americans? Now, I want to ask you a question. If they've been in slavery, then they don't have their true names because they've been made slaves. See, a slave don't have his own name. He don't have his own anything. Remember, I told you this is about I am. If y'all can hear me, then y'all can hear me. If you can't, sorry for you. So a slave doesn't have an identity. He doesn't have an I am. He is what he is told he is. That's what happened to the Negroes. That's why they were called colors, Negroes, African-Americans, blacks. They were given all of these names. Am I lying to you or not? Okay. Now, 
part of the apocalypse or the revealing is that the there are a people on the earth that call themselves Jews and are not Jews. Revelation 2, 9, Revelation 3, 9. Abayah says, I know that there are people that are calling themselves Jews and are not. I know that blasphemy. And I know that they are the synagogue of Satan. You see that? Do you see it? They are the synagogue of Satan. So, during this time of the 400 years that Abraham distressed over in his dream, it is written, there would be another people who would call themselves by the name of Abraham's descendants, though they are not. Have you guys noticed anybody on the earth calling themselves the Abraham's descendants, but are not? So do you see what the war is I've been describing to you now? It is about identity. It is about who are you in truth. So if you say you are ish something, then you are like something. You are not that something. There's black and then blackish. There's white and then off-white or whitish. There's orange and then orangish. But if I say orangish, I'm not saying it's orange, it's I'm saying it's like orange. So if I say something ish, then I'm saying it's not the actual thing, it's something that's like the actual thing. And that is what's been done on the earth. So now the ones who were in captivity for the 400 years who have just been liberated in 2019, it's been three years since then, Abayah's grace has abounded, obviously. You've seen these so-called misnamed, misnomered people on the earth. Rise up and claim their true heritage. And it is causing a backlash from the group that says that they are that people. So would that be proving that revelation actually is true? Ain't that interesting? That's the war that you're witnessing right now. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you, because I understand this war. I'm going to go ahead and tell you how the, that enemy, how they fight. All they do, because they know they have a short time now, they know they're running out of time, the world is not going to believe them pretty soon, and they're actually starting to fall away. See, it's called a great falling away. What does that mean? The great falling away from the people that they thought were Jews. That's why the man of sin is going to be revealed, because he's going to be like, hold on, no, gosh darn it, you're going to believe what we told you. It's going to happen on every level, so to speak. And that's what those fake Jews are going to do. They're going to say, you must, violently, they're going to say this, believe the lie. You must. And they're going to do all kinds of physical things. Why? Because they have the wealth of the world. They have the riches of the world and the um, access to do what they want to do. And they, that's what they will brag about as well. I want you all to understand this. True Jews, I want you to understand this. This is what they're going to do. They're going to attack you about not, ha not being rich. I just want you to know that so that you don't get in your feelings when they do it. Because they're surely going to do it. The people, look, let's just put it to you like this. The so-called blacks were not given that name by the father. They have a heritage. They were removed from their heritage by Abba Yah, though. He said it in his word. So he will give it back. No one else will. He will. Well, he has given it to us back. By his grace and his mercy, he has yet chosen Israel and yet chosen a portion of Jacob. That's what he said. And because of that, they will usurp. See, they will usurp the land. They will usurp the throne. They will Yaakobah the world. They will Yaakoba. See, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the world that followeth it. You see, usurp. That's what Jacob means. Yaakoba means usurper. Do you understand this? So, they were sitting in the kingdom nice and good, having the whole world deceived that they were the people of God. That's what the scripture says. They deceived the whole world to believe a lie. And the people of the earth loved them rather than the true people of God. That's what's written. They love the lie instead of the truth. So the true people of God have been disenfranchised, 
hated, put at the bottom. Now, how come this all matches to some people that don't have a name, that don't have a flag, don't have a homeland? How come it all matches them, but yet there's another people out there saying that they're the people? Well, because Abiyah said that they call themselves Jews and are not. But they are the synagogue of Satan that have deceived the whole wide world. Doesn't it make sense? I mean, isn't it obvious? Now, I just want to ask you, for the last 400 years, who has been calling themselves Jews on the earth? Has it been the so-called black people on the earth? Has it been them? I say thee nay. So they're not guilty of that crime. Well, who's actually guilty of calling themselves Jews and are not? But are the synagogue of Satan? Who are they? That's what this ultimately is about. Now, do you see why they control all the media? So that when the truth is spoken by the true Jews, they can censor it. They can take his money away. They can um, uh, cancel him. They can shush him. They can kill him. They can murder. They can do whatever they need to do to keep the truth stumped out. And that's what they have been doing. But Abiyah said, 400 years is up, buddy. 400 years, just look on the calendar. Now I'm about to take y'all sins and put them bitches on a balancer. <sighs> We're about to put y'all sins on a balancer. And we about to see. Who are these fakes that say they is Jakes? But they ain't. Huh? Who that is? Abba gonna reveal it. And he's revealing it to y'all now. I hope you see it. Did y'all not just see uh, Kyrie Irving's game? What was that? Today? Yesterday? Yesterday? And there was some uh, ish that came sideline with shirts on that said, what did it say on the shirts, guys? Now, I told you this is a war. Why do you think they did that to Kyrie Irving? Why do you think that group of people with those shirts on that said what it said on there? Why do you think they did that? Because they're really fighting for equality and rights. But yet they got floor side tickets. <laughs> they got they're right on the floor with the shirts on and right in front of his face. Why? That's an intimidation tactic. That's what it is, because this is war. They want him to shut up. Shut your fucking mouth, you damn goyim, and get out there and slay for me. No, 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 Canaan. No, 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 no. You're the slave, buddy. That's the way it's working. He don't want you to know that. That's all it is, guys. That's what the war has been about. So Abba has told the true Jews, relax, you ain't going to need to fight in this battle. So I want to remind you, because they're going to be very annoying. Your enemies are going to get very annoying. I want y'all to understand that, Jews. Your enemies are going to get very annoying in this hour. They're going to antagonize the shit out of you. They're going to try to poke and prod to look for any chink in your armor. And I'm warning you now so that you can be completely aloof and completely disassociated from any connection to them at all. They don't exist. They don't exist. Because what is already written about what's going to happen here? It says, Judah shall burn up, Ephraim shall burn up, and Esau shall be for stubble. All right now? Now, you say, well, you said Esau. Yeah. Did you see the wives of those two brothers? Who did Jacob marry? All right, then. Who did Esau marry? That's going to tell you everything you need to know about why Esau is lumped in there with Canaan. That's why. Because they both made a pact to harm God's people, Abraham's seed. We talk about Abraham's grandson, Israel. The promise was made to Abraham that his seed would take it. And they, they would come out. This is the key as well, Jews. True Jews. It says, after the 400 years of bondage in a strange land, you shall, after that, Abba will judge that land. See, he's doing it now. That's why he said, you ain't going to need to fight. You just chill. I'm about to judge them. You stand still and watch me judge these liars. Because lies can't stand. That's why there's no need for you to be upset when they start lying to you. Oh, you're nothing. You're just black. Oh, you're nothing. You're just poor. Yeah, you're nothing. You're, you're uneducated. Uh, you have no status in the world. You have nothing. You have that. Yeah, what did Abba say already to you? I know your poverty, but thou art rich. So what are you talking about again? You're not, you're just a, uh, uh, what they call it, full of hot air, man. You're just talking a bunch of bull crap that's going to have you go float on up out of there, out of, out of my face. <laughs> because I'm not listening to it because Abba has already equipped us with what we need, which is the truth. You need to uh, accept that today. 
And the people who are watching this war ensue, you're going to have to decide what side you fall in on. You're going to cleave to the true Jews and say, you know what? It's just true. Even though it's uncomfortable, it's just true. Because I'm going to ask you. Remember when Kanye, who was one of the other guys that they have attacked for saying what he said? Adidas dropped him and all this other stuff because he said he's going DEFCON 3 on all Jewish people. See? That's what he said. And then he all had done interviews and clarified comments and do all this other stuff and blah, 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 blah. But the point is this. When he made his comments, was he attacked? Did Adidas drop him and do all this stuff? Okay, then. All right, then. Did they ask why he made the comments? Less like he said. Did they dive into if there was any truth to what he was saying? Or did they just drop him based off the comments he made? See how that's going? They say if you want to know who rules over you, look at the people who you are not allowed to criticize. Now, can you criticize black people? Well, the whole world does that. <laughs> the whole world has no problem letting them letting black people know how they feel about them. And there's no anti this for that. But if you say something against one of ish, then you get what? You're anti this and you're anti that. We don't want to hear that. We don't want you to say that. We, you don't, OK, so in other words, you don't want us to say the truth. Because how is it me as a Shemite can't speak about Shemite if I am a Shemite? I can't hold my people accountable. OK, so what you're saying is I'm not a Shemite. Now, can you say that in truth? Uh oh, uh oh. And why is it go back to Shemite? Why is it so? Why is it so significant that we use Shem? I'll tell you why, because I told you about who the ancient enemy is here. It's Shem's little brother that envies Shem. I hope y'all hear what I'm telling you. Who's Shem's little brother? That's also his nephew. Uh-oh, shit. Yep, you heard that? It's his little brother that's also his nephew. Oh, my God. Explain that if you can. His name is Canaan. Now, was he cursed by Noah? Okay, then. All you need to know is who are the Canaanites that are on the earth right now? Who are they? If it's so important that you know who the Jews are on the earth, then it must be important that you know who there are arch enemy is which is Canaan you must know that because Shem is a brother of Canaan so why isn't there any speech of anti-Canaanite speech why isn't there any anti-Hamite speech why is it only anti-Shemite as if Shem is the only one that exists Noah had three sons Shem, Ham, and Japheth why is there any anti-Japhethite speech haven't y'all noticed this? Isn't this strange and interesting? Isn't it? Why we only want to talk about Shem out of Noah's sons? Because they don't want you to know about Canaan and what how he came to be. And that he's a bastard offspring. And that he's born of incest. That bloodline was originated in complete sin. And that's what they don't want you to know. Why else do you think Noah cursed Canaan? Why else do you think he did that? He didn't curse Ham, he cursed Ham's offspring, the result of Ham's sin. See that? So what did Ham do? Okay then. All right then. So they don't want you to know that and know that they're slaves. So they deceived the whole wide world into believing that they were actually their brother Shem. Just like Esau has done. He's fooled everybody to believe that he's Israel. He's Israelites. <laughs> look at Look at Esau. Sitting in the throne talking about he's of King David's bloodline. Come on. Stop the lying, guys. It's over. Let it go. The world don't believe you anymore, man. It's over with. If Kyrie Irving can post a movie to Twitter or whatever it was he posted it to, and now there's all this talk about him being blackballed and banned and he needs to be checked and he needs to calm down and got people sitting in the front row at his games and all this other stuff talking about he's an anti-semite now and okay guys here we go again with the same old crap i told you they scared 
That's all it means, Isara Ella. It means they're scared. They don't want the truth to come out. They're like, stop do what stop with that speech. Stop with the hate speech. You notice in this world they call truth hate speech, don't they? Yes, they do. They don't care if you're telling the truth. It's how you say it. Now, how many times have you heard somebody tell you that in this world? It's not what you're saying, man. I get what you're saying. It's just how you're saying it to me. Why does it matter how I'm saying it if what I'm saying is the truth? You should be glad that I'm not lying to you. You should be pleased enough with the fact that I'm not deceiving you to accept how I'm saying it. But nope, 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 nope. Not this world. Say some smooth stuff to me, brother. All right, well, that's what the Canaanites been doing to you. Just telling you the truth. Now, these same um, ish that say they are Jews and are not, are they um, going to come crouching and falling down and licking up the dust of the real Jews' feet? That's what it's written. So now I got to ask you guys. Who are these actual Jews that are going to get the dust of the feet, their feet licked up if Abba says there are some fake Jews on the earth that are the synagogue of Satan calling themselves Jews? Who are these actual Jews that the fake Jews got to come up to and lick the dust off their feet? Who are they? Now, what is your answer? Put that shit down in the comments section to this question. Who are those Jews that the fake Jews got to come bow to? It's written. So who are the real ones then? Can you tell me? Because you got some people saying, hey, stop the anti-Semitism. So that's one, that's one group of people that says that they are the Jews. Okay, so let's see which one's lying. And then now we have a new group who has recently come up in the earth stating it. Who have also been in bondage the past 400 years. You hear me? Now they're saying it. So which one out of the two do you think? Mm-hmm. I told y'all, you got to decide what side you're on because it says you're going to cleave onto the skirt of a Jew. Isn't that what's written? Isn't that what's written? So if you, if you cleave onto the one that's not actually a Jew and you just cleave onto him, what does that mean about your heart? That you hate the truth. You hate the truth. That's what it means. That's actually what it means. And then I know a lot of you are going to say, Grandson, I thought you said this is spiritual. It is. Truth and lies are spiritual things. They're not physical things, guys. A lie is not physical. It's spiritual. Deceit is not physical. You can't see physical deceit. That's the whole purpose of it. It's unseen. The unseen hand. That's where they move at. That's where they are at. In the world of shadows, moving in deceits. That's what the Bible said. They deceive the whole wide world. So you're telling me that the Negroes who are calling themselves now Jews in this new time, are they're the ones that deceive the whole wide world? That they were Jews? That's what y'all want me to believe? They were calling themselves black for the last 400 years or however long it's been. Blacks, uh, Negroes, African Americans, Africans, um, whatever else names. And you're telling me that they have deceived the whole world, that they're Jews and are not, but the synagogue of Satan? Well, it's not them. We know that's not them. It can't be the Negroes. They've been without a heritage. They've been without a king. They've been without a land. So it can't be them. Well, then who's guilty here? I'm going to keep asking you guys until you guys admit it. Stop being pussies. Just being honest. Stop being cursed today. Get your tail out of your legs. Be bold. Be strong. And just stand on the truth and say, it's just true, grandson. Y'all have been held down long enough. It's time we just all accept the truth and, and, and stop acting like it's right for them to be in chains. It's not right for us to put chains and bondage on God's people. It's not. And until y'all accept that, you're just going to suffer. Ask Pharaoh. <laughs> Ask him. I'll be dealing with his people. He said, if you don't let my people go, you're going to suffer, nigga. You let my firstborn go, I'm going to kill your firstborn. And what happened to Pharaoh's firstborn? He got killed. So y'all want to mess with my father or what do you want to do about this? I'm just asking because y'all fighting him, he said, not me. I'm just messaging my people. I'm just delivering the message to them of the truth. I'm going to stand still until Abba do what he got to do. And he doing it now. Because you don't have nothing to stand on, toothpick legs. 
Y'all ain't got nothing to stand on over there. What you got to stand on? Because as soon as you start to open your mouth to say anything to us, all we're going to do is open up Revelation 2, 9 and 3, 9. And we're not going to move off of that. We don't need to do anything else. We're just going to open up and let Abba work on you. Here it is. Revelation 2, 9, 3, 9. Who that is? And as soon as Ish denies that that's his people, then he has lied again in the face of God. And let that be the end of it and close that book and keep moving. You ain't got to do nothing with him. You ain't got to fight him or try to convince him. Who cares whether he believes you or not? He already know you is. <laughs> he been trying to be you for far too long, man. And he going to keep missing the mark until he missed the mark and fall off into the pit. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that's the true war. The war over I am. The right to just say you are who you are without somebody trying to steal it from you. You be who you is, man. And I'm going to be who I am. Salaam, Israelah.